Hi, E-Man here. Today I want to do an introductory tutorial on basic RimWorld modding. We're going to focus mainly on how mod files can override base files. The first thing I recommend you do is download Notepad++. It's a free text editing program that does syntax highlighting and all kinds of other cool things for programming. It will come in very handy for modding. Also, I recommend you go to the Ludeon page and download the Art Assets Pack available on the forums. I'll put a link to both of these things in the description. As you can see here, I have some files prepared. I have an about template XML, a preview PNG, a smoke leaf leaves, a smoke leaf plant, it's labeled smoke leaf plant A. I have several different sizes of pemmican here. They're labeled pemmican A, pemmican B, pemmican C. And you can see the difference between smoke leaf name, smoke leaf plant A, versus the pemmican name, which is pemmican underscore A. This will be important later, keep this in mind. I also have some extra files here. They're just recolors of the other files. I'll explain them later. So the first thing we'll learn to do is how to find your mod folder. If you have a non-Steam version of RimWorld, your mod folder is going to be in your main directory wherever you installed the game at. If you are using Steam, easiest way to do it is open up your Steam. Right-click RimWorld. Go to Properties. Local Files tab. Browse Local Files. This will open up your main directory and the mods folder will be right there. What I'd like to do is create a shortcut this on the desktop just to make my life easier. And the mods folder, as you probably know, is where all the mods are going to go. So we're going to open up that file. As you can see, inside here we already have a file called core. Those are the main base game files. The ones we're going to be overriding. We won't be editing them directly. We're going to right click. We're going to do new folder. We can call this folder anything we want. I'm going to call it intro mod. Inside this folder, we're going to create two new folders. About and textures. Now I'm going to set this to one side. Now I'm going to take the about template XML, which you either download from the description or just copy yourself because it's a pretty small file. We're going to open this up. So inside this XML file, you can see this top line. Every XML file is going to have this line. This is called a header. If you ever need one, just copy and paste one from another XML file and the one you have. They're always the same. This next line, this is called a tag. Any words in these angle brackets are called tags. In Notepad++, if you click on this tag, it'll highlight this tag as well. This is its closing tag. You can tell by this slash. Almost every tag in XML is going to have an opening and a closing tag. What this XML file is going to do is it's going to work in conjunction with our preview PNG and it's going to display an image and the information for the mod in the mod menu. So this tag right here where it says name, this is going to be the mod name. Mine's called intro mod. And the author, you can put your name. I'm going to put mine. Here in supported versions is a new feature. You can create a list of versions your mod works for. I'm only going to do 1.0 for now. Here in URL, you could link to your Ludeon page where your mod is or a Steam page or anything like that. For me, I'm just going to leave it blank because I don't have any of that stuff right now. And here in the description section is where you describe your mod. Now that we have it all done, we're going to go to File, Save As. To make life easy, I'm just going to save it to the desktop. Down here, you can already see it's XML. All we're going to do is save it as about. Now, as you can see, we have a folder up here called about.xml. Now we're going to take that file and put it in the about folder that we created earlier. Inside that file, you can also place your preview PNG. Now, with the about folder, having an about XML and a preview PNG, Technically, now you have created a functioning mod. It just won't do anything at all in the game besides display that it's working. You could enable it, it would restart the game and everything. It just would do nothing at all. So instead of doing that, we're going to keep on moving on. Now our goal is to retexture things with these textures that I have here. So in order to do that, what we have to do is get two bits of information. We need to know the graphic class of the object. We also need to know its texture path. It's actually pretty easy to do. We're going to navigate back to our mods folder. We're going to open up the core folder. From here, we're going to go into defs. And inside of defs is where all the base files of the game are. The first thing we're going to replace is smoke leaf leaves. So we're going to go down to thing defs items. Inside of thing defs items, you want items resource raw plant. Open it up to notepad plus plus. Inside of here, you see another header, another defs tag, and all the way at the bottom, there's a closing defs tag. Also here at the bottom of my case is the smoke leaf leaves. 
Now, you don't need to know what much of this stuff is right now. This is just an introduction tutorial, and all this is advanced. What we are looking for is the one that says graphic data. This is where the information we need lies. But oh no, as we see here, there's only a texture path. There's nothing in here that said anything about graphics class, which we also need. So how do we find that? Well, in XML, they use a thing called parents. And parents are an inheritance system in which objects that have something as a parent take all the traits from that parent. So if that parent has a graphic class, for example, then the child will also have that same graphic class unless otherwise specified. So what we need to do is track down the parent for this object. So if you look up here at the top, the tag that says thing def is the beginning of this entry. So all of this is the smoke leaf leaves, which you can see by the def name right here. Here's the in-game label it would have. And what we're looking for is right here, parent. And the parent name is rough plant base. So we're actually gonna copy that. Do control F for search. We're gonna search for that. Here you see we found plant rough base. Here's a thing def for it in between these two tags. And its name is over here in this case. Sometimes it'll be over here, sometimes it'll be down here. You just kinda have to wing it. Generally bases will have the name listed like this. There's a reason for that we're not gonna go into. But as we can see, there's still no graphic data listed here. So we have to go up one more parent. So we can see this one has a parent also, which is organic product base. We're gonna copy that and search for that. And as you can see, it's the very top entry. We have thing def with the name of organic product base. Here's the entire section. And finally, as you see, we found the graphic data section we were looking for, which has a graphic class. So now we know we have graphic single, and all the way at the bottom is the smoke leaf leaves, which has a texture path. Those are the two bits of information we need. So what we'll do is set this aside. We're gonna go into our intro mod folder that we created. Now inside the textures folder we created earlier is where this directory and text path starts. So inside of textures, you want a folder called things. And remember, the capitalization is very important in these things, and the spelling is correct is important. So don't do item instead of item. Don't do plural where it's supposed to be singular. Be very careful about these things, because it will mess you up. So a folder called things, a folder called item, a folder called resource, singular, a folder called plant food raw. It's all as one word, but the P, the F, and the R are all capitalized. And this last entry is why we need to know the graphic class. So when you're using graphic class single, the very last entry in the texture path, in this case, smoke leaf leaves, is going to be an image name. So we have a PNG file called smokeleafleaves.png. That's what the last entry references. We just leave off the PNG part and just do smokeleafleaves. You'll see in another case here soon, when we're using graphic class random, for example, the very last entry will be a folder, not an image file. So we'll get to that soon. So now that we know that this is an image file inside of a folder, we can take our smokeleafleaves file and throw it inside that folder. So now we have smoke leaf leaves inside of plant food raw. We'll double check our directory again. So as you see here, things, item, resource, plant food raw. Things, item, resource, plant food raw. Then because it's graphic class single, smoke leaf leaves, it needs to be the same exact name here and here, minus the PNG part, and that's an image file. So that should be working. Let's go ahead and start the game and test it out. So here we are at the main menu. I'm gonna go into the mods menu. Here you see our mod, we're gonna enable that. We have our title, our preview PNG, author name, and description. I'm gonna go ahead and hit close and then I'll restart the game, that's normal. First thing we're gonna do is go into options. And we're gonna enable dev mode. Now you have these buttons up here. Those are the dev buttons. It's also gonna allow us to start a game really fast. So go to new game, hit next a bunch of times. So here we are on the game. 
I'm gonna go to those buttons we enabled. This one right here, debug actions menu is one we want. Open it up, go to this bar right here. This is a search bar, type in thing. It'll highlight all the buttons that have the word thing in them. We wanna try and place new thing. Go over here again, type in smoke. We're looking for smoke leaf leaves, not the plant. Now we'll drop these down. We can see the texture's working. So there's one object successfully textured, two more to go. All right, now here we are in the mods folder again. We're gonna go back into core. Now we're looking for smoke leaf plant. We're going to defs, thing defs plants. And we want plants cultivated form. Open it up with notepad plus plus. We're gonna do a search for smoke. Here you see we found the plant smoke leaf. We're gonna look down for the graphic data, which is right here. And lucky us, we see they're both here this time. This time we have graphic random, and here's our directory. So because this is graphic random, instead of being an image this time, this last entry is a folder. So in the case of graphic class random or graphic class stacked, the last entry will be a folder because inside that folder, it wants images named the exact same name, but with either a capital A, B, C, D at the end, or a lowercase a, b, c with a hyphen at the end. As you can see in my demonstration video here, I have the hyphen version. Smoke leaf plant does not want the hyphen version. It wants the capital A after smoke leaf plant. So now we're gonna go back to our mods folder, go into our intro mod, go back into textures. And remember, this is where this directory starts. So in this case, we already have a things folder. So we're gonna go inside that. Now I need a folder called plant. Now, because it's a graphic random, smoke leaf plant, in this case, needs to be a folder. I'm gonna create that folder. And inside this folder, is we're gonna have smoke leaf plant with a capital A at the end. With graphic random, the formatting is like this, where it's smoke leaf plant, no space, no underscore, and a capital A. If it's graphic class stat count, you need to have an underscore lowercase a, underscore lowercase b, etc. But for random, it's just a capital A at the end, just like this. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in our folder. Now it has the A because the game has the option to select multiple files. If there's more in here, it'll choose at random. So what we can do is by default, the game only has one smoke leaf plant, so I'm not sure why it's set to graphic random, but we can just add more by having more files called smoke leaf plant B, smoke leaf plant C. So we'll just drop those in there too. Now you can see we have A, B, and C. Let's go ahead and start the game and see how that works. So here we are in the game. I'm gonna go up to the debug menu again. We're gonna search for thing. So I'm gonna do place direct thing. Do smoke. And this time we're looking for the plant. So here we are. But oh no, they're all tiny. We can't hardly see them. That's okay. Go back up to the same menu. Type in mature. But no E. And you'll see maturity right here. Grow to maturity. Click on them a few times. And you can quit doing the debug actions by right clicking. So as you can see, we're getting random smoke leaf plants. Seems like a successful test. Let's go ahead and do the last one. So here we are on the mods folder again. Hopefully you're getting the hang of this. We're gonna go back into core. Going to defs. We're gonna go to thing def items. Items food. Inside of here, we're gonna do control F for search, search for penny. There we go, we found it, def name pemmican. Here is the thing def for pemmican. What we're looking for is graphic data. We got lucky again, they're both in here. We don't have to hunt down any parents. So it's graphic stat count this time. So what this means is that when it's a small amount, it's a quantity of items like one, it'll use the smallest image, which will be the A image. The highest value letter is the smallest image. And the largest image will be your D or your F or however high you go. And it'll be like a big pile of pemmican. We'll recreate this directory. And because it's stat count, this is a folder. It's almost the exact same thing as when you're using graphic random, except that the naming scheme is different. You're gonna have underscore A, underscore B, et cetera, instead of just having A or B at the end. 
This is how the game will identify which one's a small quantity and which one's a large quantity. So you're gonna have a folder called Pemmican, and inside that folder you're gonna have a Pemmican underscore lowercase a, Pemmican underscore lowercase b, etc. You can go all the way to Z as far as I know. So we're gonna go back to our mods folder, go into our intro mod, into textures, because remember, that's where this directory starts. We already have a things folder. We already have an item folder. We already have a resource folder. So inside this folder, we want a folder called Pemmican because this is a stat count, so this refers to a folder. Make sure you spell it right and get the capitalization correct. And inside this folder is where we'll place our objects, where I have Pemmican A, which is the smallest one, Pemmican underscore B, which is the next smallest one, Pemmican underscore C, which is the next biggest one, Pemmican underscore D, which is the largest one. By default, there's only three in Pemmican, but I added four for fun. Then to make it even more exciting, I added a few more. It'll repeat the cycle. So what it's gonna do, it'll be the smallest amount is here at A, it'll go to B, then to C, then to D. Then it'll go up here to E. Then it'll do F, G, then H. So this will be the biggest stack. This will be the smallest stack. Let's go ahead and throw all those in there. Now that we've got that done, let's go ahead and open up the game. All right, here we are in the game for the last time, hopefully. Let's go ahead and open this up. Search for thing. We can place near thing this time. Near thing just tries to place it near a spot where you click. If there's, if there's an object in the way, it'll go a few spots away and try and place it. And place direct will only place it where you click. That's the difference. We'll place near thing. Search for penny. There it is. There's the smallest one. One size up. One size up. And there's the biggest red one. Now the next one we're gonna go to is the smallest green one. There you go. And we'll keep on going up until we get to the maximum size. And the game will automatically try and distribute these somewhat evenly as you add more and more files from what I can tell. Well, all right. I'm gonna call that the end of that. I hope you learned something today.